There you have it, guys. I like Jurassic Park. You catch giants. Well, welcome to another uh, episode of Pro vs. Joe here. Where are we at? I'm not going to tell you exactly where we're at. We're going to let you have to do a little bit of homework, but I'm going to tell you it's called Jurassic Park. You can see we're in sunny Florida and it's sunny today, but you can see I'm dressed a little uh, warm. It's uh, pretty chilly. It's still winter time down here. and we, We've had a little cold front. Everything I've heard about Jurassic Park is it's a phenomenal fishery. So when Jamie challenged us to come down here and, and try this place, I, I couldn't be more excited. Even with this cold front, I've got high hopes. I'm expecting big fish, so uh, really looking forward to today. Let's go see what we can do. Hey, good morning. So my name is Jamie Nash. I'm gonna do the Pros versus Joes with Brent Chapman. Super excited about this. We're here today at Jurassic Park. I kind of threw out a challenge to, to Brent and said, hey, you like to flip, you like to throw a swim jig, this is the place to do it. I fish the ABAs, do a few tournaments. My PB is 10-6. And if there's a place to beat it, this is the place to beat it. So maybe today will be the day. Just a regular guy, but I'm out here today to try to beat a pro. So we're hoping we'll put a smack on him just for all the regular guys to show that we, uh, we can do it too. So Jamie, I, I know this is a pretty special place. I've heard a lot of great things about Jurassic Park. Uh, obviously, it's February though, right? And it's still winter. We've had a cold snap. I'm looking right here on the Garmin, and the water temp 63 degrees. Yeah, so that's pretty chilly. What do you think the fishing might be like today? You know, I think these fish are probably going to hold real tight to anything that's, you know, any cover that's that's out there available. Right, there's yeah. a lot of it, and mats and whatnot. It didn't get as cold as we thought, yeah. uh, so I don't think we're going to be as as fouled up as we might have expected. Right. To be. Yeah. And, and it's you know, it's the fish are in all phases of the spawn right now so i'm sure we can just get out there and hunt around and if it's anything like i know about florida you just get around hunt around and once you find one you probably found a, a right slew of them. so yeah it should be you ready to do this should be good let's, let's go. go do it all right Just, I'm just so excited looking at the Garmin. It's just solid hydrilla, which, I mean, that's the ultimate for bass to live Absolutely. in. Hydrilla, that's what produces the giants here. So you've got a bladed jig on, I've got a worm on. We're just gonna get out and start fan casting around and I'm feeling pretty good about it. So let's uh, let's th get this thing going. Let's do it. The rules of Pro versus Joe, it's the first fish. So that's a crucial one. Most fish and biggest fish. Main thing is let's have a good time and, 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 and have at it, so. Good luck. With that, I'll give you the first pass. Hey, might be the first one. Not a big one. But Not a big one. But Fish. You got to start somewhere, right? Yeah. Only go up. Exactly. It's amazing that first bite. A lot of times, you know, and put on that darn speed worm. Old speed worm does again. Speed worm will kill him. Gloves. I know they catch them really good punching here, but I mean, you know, you can spend so much time. Well, you talk about it. Like that has no rhyme or reason to it. Yeah, there's a bunch of beds up here, but gosh, if you could see them, it would be before you ride on top of them. Go ahead, think about right on top of them before you even see them. Man, it out. There we go. Oh. There we go. Oh, wow, yeah, that's a nice one. Stay on the Jurassic Park's made for. Oh yeah, look at that. Yes, sir. <laughs> you just hunt around some and 
there you go. That's what, uh, that's what this place is all about. You know, we weren't catching any fish and we, so I just put on a bladed jig and got out here where you can actually work it over the stuff. And look what we caught. Four and a half. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Hard to tell. Let's post. So. Yeah. What's it say, official scorekeeper? Four, 11, three, four, 12. Four, 12. Four, 12. Just under five. Good start for the day. I like this place. It's not bad. So, see, we caught us a fish now. Now we're in an area where there's fish. That's fun. That is fun. That's what you want. Yeah. See, that's the thing for me, Jamie. I've got so much confidence in this bladed jig right now. I mean, I just, if all else fails, I just feel like I could put this on and throw it all day I'm gonna get my five and right pick up a good fish or two along the way you know what I mean oh there we go Again. Ah. <laughs> darn it yeah here we fish for what a good hour and caught one little tiny one and then we just kind of get out here and we've had two good quality bites there in a matter of You know, it, uh, it's cold out here, but, you know, the fish are still biting. Liking it. It's amazing how you, once you kind of crack the seal, how things start to come together. So, hopefully, things are going to start to come together. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Look at that chunk. That's not bad at all. On a swim jig. Not bad at all. Let's, uh, let's officially see what that one weighs. Probably four and a half, I'm guessing. Pretty heavy. He might go five. I might, I might creep by you on this let's one. Let's see. It's pretty stout. Nope. Four or five. Four or five. Good job. Get a picture of him. Every 50 yards, 75 yards. Kind of fish now. No rhyme or reason to this kind of fishing. Though. No. Get out here and band cast and flame through them. And yeah. any cast, any one of us could be a 10 yeah. pounder or a 10 incher, you know? Yep. I would have thought, though, we would have caught more bucks. Then we, you know, running through across like this. You know, the little fish I figure I'll be killing. It. Which maybe these are the little ones here. Wouldn't that be? Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's that little male bass right there. You know, that's the thing about Ford is that's an average fish. You catch a lot of fish like that. Come on, we're due for a big one here. I caught four big fish right in the middle of the day. It's 1157. I've always said the best time of day to catch a big one is between well, noon and one. Noon and one? You know, they don't fish these. Oh, oh uh oh. That's a decent one. On old bladed jig, play with all this other stuff, and then you get out old reliable. And... Boom. Nice. I like it. We we run back up here to where we got bit, and we're in the same vicinity, and we get up here and we immediately catch another fish. So. Uh, you know, it doesn't take a lot of water 
to catch a lot of fish here in Florida. So instead of hunting around the whole way, why not just run back up to our waypoints and get back to catching them? That's what I try to tell people. It's, it, it's kind of unique about Florida is, I mean, every single cast all the way back to the boat, it's just you have that feeling of a giant could bite it at any time. Oh, that is a tank. Thank you. Ah, good one. <laughs> My gosh, it came over that uh, catch a hydrilla. You know what? I'll get him. I'll do. I'm gonna grab it. Good practice for me. Oh my god! Oh my god, that's a big oh, that's Look at that pounder. Woo! <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Jurassic yeah. Park. There you have it, guys. Jurassic wow. Park right there. Oh, look at that. That is a giant. That is a <laughs> hammer. Oh, we're just popping that bladed jig through that grass. Look that at fish that fish. Is gonna be a... Oh, eight pounder. It's gonna be eight even. Right at eight pounds. Absolute tank. Wow. I like Jurassic Park. You catch giants. So, so we came back up here to where we caught the first fish that kind of got the ball rolling. Had two bites since we've come back here. So we're just kind of drifting through that same little corridor of waypoints. And you know, without a doubt, we've probably opened a can of worms where we're really gonna catch them now. So let's get back at it. You know what's crazy is how bad I've gotten my butt kicked on this thing over the years because I just refuse to throw it. You know, and then I refuse to throw. Get one? Looks like another good one, too, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going up the bushes. Not a giant, but a good one. Oh, fish, <laughs> fish landing, fish landing violation. violation. Not a bad one. No, not a bad one at all. What is that, four, pound, four and a half? Yeah, he was a little better than I thought when I went there. Yeah. Boat flip him. <laughs> Put the black and blue bladed jig on and... Made for a good yeah. one. Good job. And that's two fish in the same spot even. Yeah. Power pole down. We're, say, we're saving our waypoints on, on the Garmin every time we catch a fish. So you can see we're in a spot right in the middle of all of our waypoints. And then if you see on the sonar, you see all the, the clumps of hydrilla. So you can see the hydrilla is perfect. You got clumps of it. And you got an open spot and that's where these fish are hanging out is around these clumps. What a day. Holy cow. Holy cow. I think I like this place. Oh, don't you do it, man. They figured out its hook and all yeah, of a sudden. Yeah, he just saw the boat. Got me in the grass. Not one ride the track. Not one ride the track. Okay, here, baby. Oh, gosh. Oh. <laughs> Hydrilla, gorilla. Boom! Two tanks in one day. <laughs> what were we just saying? Old bladed jig. Told you we were about to catch another one, didn't I? What is that, a six something? Seven, one. Seven, one. An eight and a seven, how about that? Pre-spawn or one that hasn't completely spawned yet. You know what's crazy is now that I'm seeing them, it's kind of a rule of thumb is go fish where the uh, 
uh, coops are. And I see two packages of coops. I see those and I see them down on down there. Oh. Pretty little males here. We saw the coots though. We saw the coots up here and you know coots usually know where the best hydrilla is and I don't know if that made the difference but we caught two. Crazy, you get in these little clumps, and that you know that's where where we've gotten bit. Those these fish use these clumps as little uh, condos, I guess. Yeah, these little bass condos, and you can see them all through here. Oh, oh my gosh, that's a good one. Uh, I was just kind of popping that through the grass. Man, that, that was awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it just it popped off that grass and man, it just smoked it. <laughs> you can't even see the bait in his mouth. Yeah, he, he ate that. Oh. Oh, that's beautiful. Choked it all the way down, almost. Oh. That's what you call a beautiful pre spawn bass, probably a three and a half. That's a chunk. An awesome fishery, Jurassic Park. They are random though, aren't they? They are super random. That's the thing that we've caught a fair amount of fish today, but it's been super random. And, that, and that's kind of a reminder of why just picking up a good moving bait, something you can cover a lot of water with, is sometimes a ticket because their fish are so scattered. The best thing you're, you're to do is just keep a, keep a moving bait in your hand and cover water. But if you were to come in here and flip and pitch every one of these little spots you'd end up burning so much time and, and maybe never catching that many fish by doing it that way. Jamie what do you think should we uh, unfortunately these days have to come to an end do we want to call it like five casts? We'll do five casts. Five casts there we go so uh, we'll, we'll count them down. One, two for me, Jamie, I don't know about you, but I had a blast today. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, especially considering the conditions. I mean, it was truly a brutal day out here, but we got out here, got to learn it, see a new body of water. But with this wind and, and the conditions, we just had to fish moving baits. But, you know, we managed to put together a, a pretty good bag of fish. So uh, I don't know about you, but I enjoyed it. And I absolutely. Hope, uh, I hope we can come back and do Jurassic Park again sometime. I think it'd be great. We need the Dirty 30 next time. Oh, absolutely. We were, close. We were very we close. We were real close. Sure. So, uh, you know, considering the conditions today, I'll take it. Absolutely. You, you caught a good one, but I, th I think I got you beat on the big fish for sure. It's all for about sure. the bladed jig. So uh, with that, you know, we're gonna we're gonna give out a uh, Speed Demon Pro, the the bladed jig rod. It's a seven three, a phenomenal setup. 
with that being said we're going to get you a new one of these and uh, appreciate hopefully that you can enjoy one as well absolutely so, certainly enjoy it but, uh, couldn't beat the pro today but hey that's okay uh, learned a lot you know learned um pick this bladed jig up and don't put it down he really wore me out today with it but we had a good time i uh, would love the opportunity to do it again and maybe get a little revenge next time